you very much uh, for your yeah yeah thank you very much for your kind presentation uh, we will change uh, a little bit about uh, the topic <laughs> we change to a more theoretical approach trying to uh, put uh, emphasis on the basis of the numerical method instead of the application uh, uh, this work uh, was done with my colleague uh, at uh, CIMEC Argentina, uh, a, a PhD student uh, Horacio Aguirre, a young researcher Juan Jiménez and the professor Sergio Ideson, and tried to uh, put uh, the, the focus on the uh, using of mesh and particles uh, together. Uh, our schedule is uh, uh, going to be an introduction, uh, then particles in, in another approach in a finite volume context. I am showing you why, why we choose uh, this approach, or this path. Uh, some preliminary tests, uh, are improvement of the methodology, then validation uh, test, and finally some ongoing works uh, we are involved in. First, uh, the important things. This is a uh, memorial of my uh, dear friend and a, a colleague of us, a, a contributor, a very good contributor for SIBNE, uh, for GID and, and PFEM also, Nestor Calvo, that is for me is a, is a, is a very good friend. And Okay, thank you. Uh, Next, uh, we change to the, the reason why uh, we present this talk. First of all, I want to say that uh, we were involved uh, BFEM since uh, 2010, thanks to the professor Sergio Idelson that joined us to, the, to, to his uh, uh, project, uh, a grant obtained uh, in IRC. Uh, for real-time applications, and uh, in that uh, moment, uh, we detected that uh, we, we use PFM for for first time, and we saw that PFM use uh, moving mesh through uh, the position of particles, uh, and uh, this uh, strategy of uh, use moving mesh suffer high distortion in mesh, high aspect ratio. So uh, the time step uh, was severely uh, restricted. And also uh, the, the bad quality of the mesh generated produced uh, high uh, in inaccuracy in the pressure uh, equation, the Poisson pressure equation. Uh, for the space and time, uh, you, uh, PFM at that moment used uh, uh, first order, uh, fixed velocity during the whole time step, uh, producing uh, some and other inaccuracies, and uh, uh, use fractional step for the pressure and velocity coupling, and uh, for the velocity correction, use the correction of from to the whole uh, value of the of the velocity in cells or in in, in elements to uh, move to the particles. That is a, a tricky point. This is a dissertation, and so. Uh, we work with Sergio Idelson in uh, getting uh, a new version of the PFM, trying to move to another version that improve a lot the efficiency, especially uh, and the stability also, because the severe restriction in the time step pro produced uh, large, very very large or long long simulations. So uh, with the selection of an hybrid discretization using mesh and particles, it is possible to control in a better way the time step and using particles and mesh it is possible also to get a stable solutions better than the uh, Eulerian one. Uh, for particles, for the particle integration we use streamline up uh, streamline integration so uh, this kind of integration is very more accurate that uh, uh, Euler or forward Euler integration or what, what uh, or another uh, kind of integration that use uh, a, a fixed velocity field. Um, you know that the exact solution sh should be get the, the trajectory of the particles, but the trajectory is very difficult to get because uh, you have to 
to change uh, the, the, the velocity field uh, in, with the solution. So we, our approach of streamline is uh, a, a, an approach to the trajectory uh, that is more better than first order for, for Waroida. Uh, another uh, study that we, wo we worked was the exhaustive uh, seeding strategy for accuracy reasons. And also, that is very important, is that the, the, um, the final correction of the velocity is done not on the, uh, the value of this, the velocities in cell, you know, in the elements, it's all else in, the, in, the, in its correction. So it is very, very important. And finally, what is uh, one uh, inconvenient, at, at first inconvenient, but not, it's not so much, so, uh, so much uh, uh, problematic, is the uh, projection and interpolation. Because uh, uh, using mesh and, and particles uh, needs the projection and interpolation that uh, it, that not, that's not uh, in, in, the, in the original PFM formulation. But if you look inside the, any Eulerian codes, you can, may understand that you have uh, a, also in, a projection and interpolation. So projection and interpolation is always with, 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 within us. Um, so uh, PFEM, uh, the second generation of PFEM is a good compromise in accuracy and, and efficiency that pr uh, produce uh, solutions with uh, using a large time step solving not only one phase, on, on also two phase pro problems with uh, several industrial applications. Uh, it's based on an explicit advection of the massless particles, projection from particles to the mesh, then an implicit calculation on the mesh, the diffusion, the stock problems, and the uh, pressure velocity coupling using fractional step, and uh, finally an explicit updating from the mesh to the particles. Here you can see several publications in that uh, sense. But uh, what are we interested in now? We are, we are interest in, interested in, in, in trying to extend the, the number of users different all around the world and giving more visibility and more usefulness. Uh, showing advantages against uh, uh, in other uh, alternatives is one of the main uh, goals and trying to, to, to have an easy maintenance purposes or co-processing PFM with another solvers. So uh, we take the, the decision of put PFM, PFM2, PFM second generation in a, a finite volume framework because finite volume is uh, one of the most used uh, numerical methods for the CFD community. So, uh, because some reasons, one of is that uh, is one of the top three most used so CFD software and is one of the top five HPC uh, software, we uh, decide to use OpenFoam. It's an open source uh, free of charge code. So it is uh, free. Uh, the library is very well structured, so it's very reliable in terms of uh, developing uh, continuous mechanic applications, and also have uh, general polyhedra meshes uh, that work with Sausan, of course. So the parallelism is, is solved, uh, the mesh generation also. And uh, has a very, very nice uh, features like multi-physics, a large set of numerical methods, numerical schemes for the advection, for diffusion, for uh, time integration, turbulence modeling, and pre-processing, co-processing, and post-processing functions. And since 2008, our group is develop, developing several applications, not only using PFM, also using, uh, not, not only using particles, also using a Eulerian approach inside an open phone context. Already has a particle uh, solver inside, but the particle is a physics-based particle because particles uh, it has a physics inside. But we have to, to change the, to, to particles in the sense of numerical method. So uh, spatial discretization with finite volume uh, is uh, next uh, uh, 
Uh, here we have to analyze what's the main changes. We have to move from FEM, from finite element method, like PFEM was originally developed, using nodes, elements, shape functions, interpolations using shape functions, for um, or two um, finite volumes that uh, works on, on cell and faces with unknowns concentrated on cell center. We use a collocated version of finite volumes that the unknowns are concentrated in the centroid of the elements. We have to, to get some interpolation or and we inherit the parallelism for the form. Solution with the uh, streamline inter iteration integration uh, outside the nonlinear loop, and the rest are solutions and the reference with uh, when you put inside. So the difference and and the, er the error reduce a lot. So for the first uh, version of our uh, uh, finite volume approach, we have uh, some improvements. Work on polyhedral uh, are bounded second order projection and correction. We include a uh, pressure velocity coupling integration, integration of particles. We inherit all the features of the open form and allow a, f uh, a faster development, uh, easier to maintain because we, we work on open form. This uh, version of uh, PFM is inside the uh, open form versions 2.4 or 5 uh, or, or, or newer. And uh, this uh, problem of uh, not not so good precision and not so second order, not, not, not having second order in, uh, rate of convergence, uh, produce or demand us for the new improvements. So we start with uh, uh, trying to, to integrate in time with using Runshekuta. We add uh, to the projection operator uh, an extra term in the. Seri uh, Taylor series, like the Asian uh, operator in green, that is computed in open form using that um, formula that needs uh, operations with second neighbors. We solve, as usual, the momentum and the pressure equation, uh, and we interpolate also adding this extra term. We if uh, finally you go to one if until convergence, and also it is important that uh, when you uh, solve a problem with uh, splitting operators, you start from here. You can rewrite this e equation uh, after the semi discretization. You can uh, solve the problem using agent values or, or whatever, and the solution are uh, exponentials. Uh, like this, 
And if you use uh, Godunov type uh, of uh, decomposition of the splitting, uh, like this, first uh, the convection and after the, the diffusion, you arrive to only first order. But if you use a strong decomposition, half the diffusion first, the convection step, and the other half of the diffusion at the end, uh, that is the strand uh, splitting, you can arri uh, arrive to second order. So, with this uh, improvement uh, in, in the code, we arrive, we, uh, we arrive to second order. We reduce our error in uh, respect to the open foam one order of magnitude with high CFTFL and also with, uh, with more efficiency, efficiency in, in computational cost, that is the plot. For example, for high CFL, uh, you arrive to a very different error solution. And here, for, for a lower TFL uh, value, you, uh, you have a, a, an improvement, but not so much like with high CFL. This uh, is uh, how the solution looks when using uh, high CFL, the analytic, our solution, and the pin performance, that is open function. So, we are now competitive with OpenFOAM. We test also with, uh, not only with quadriquats or uh, polyhedra structure or, or polyhedral and structure using different norms for different kind of solution. We arrive to uh, uh, this uh, kind of, um, of uh, conversion rate. Uh, here you and have have to see that uh, the projection and the, and the interpolation uh, operators looks like cubic order because for the cumulate order in time you arrive to second order in the global duration that is very important having not only second order in the projection and interpolation you have uh, even more third order at least Is, is very important because you, you can uh, solve a lot of problems from different regimes, from uh, capillary problems to inertial problems. And I'm trying to extend uh, the application of PDNS, pseudo-DNS, uh, 3D, for more uh, um, examples. Finally, I, I would appreciate the invitation at this Congress. Uh, thank you very much, Eugenio. Thank you very much, the organizers. I appreciate a lot also all the, the history, the time uh, we are working 
together with uh, Eugenio and the Sydney community. It's very friendly and, and it's a very it's a very good community for discussing these, these topics. And obvi obviously, uh, thanks for my university, the Granisette, uh, and the grants, and my colleagues and Sydney and, and, and Thank you very much.